Hello. If you are watching this short promotional video, then that means you are considering whether to embark upon something new here within our school district. What you are about to see is something that has been stirring in my heart for more than a decade, and I am excited to see it finally coming to fruition. As educators, we all know that children do not arrive at the schoolhouse gate with an equal set of cognitive skills. In fact, through research, we know that some students have not been exposed to a healthy learning environment prior to arrival to a formal educational setting. This is, of course, no fault of their own, merely a byproduct of a busy family or a family dynamic that unintentionally has their focus and attention on other matters. Nonetheless, when a child arrives to be in our care without the foundational concepts of learning, it is our duty to do anything and everything within our power to enhance their academic achievement to match their peers providing for equitable outcomes for every student whom we serve. A focus on neuroscience became a topic for consideration of student performance in the 1990s, which more clearly outlined deficiencies and objectives necessary to overcome them. This scientific trend shifts the focus away from assessment and focuses almost entirely on the early formative years in the developmental process of the brain. While assessment will likely always be a part of education, this theory identifies strategies which enhance developmental learning opportunities rather than determining academic rank. This is where the Goose Creek story becomes very interesting. We began studying our own students' educational gaps in learning and one of the consistent dilemmas that came up is that state testing does not formally begin until third grade. I'm not saying that we do not assess before then, as we certainly do. It's just that is when we technically begin keeping score. Imagine, just imagine if we unconsciously wait until then to consider the gap as legitimate and then try to close it when the student is already eight years old. Science tells us that we will be attempting to close the gap for the remainder of their years with us. What if? What if we could close the gap before it even existed, or as close to that point in time as possible? That is truly why you are here today, to hear about a paradigm shift in the way we think. Rather than wait for formal testing, what if we knew how to close pre-existing gaps through targeted interventions that occurred during unstructured learning? What if you were given a formula which guaranteed to connect synapses between nerve cells in the brain to one another that result in cognitive development? Well, Goose Creek has partnered up with two companies in order to make this happen. One is a research company which recently conducted a five-year study in unstructured cognitive development resulting in positive outcomes. The other company, through their own research, has specialized in early childhood spaces recognizing that rows of student desks may bring about structure and ease of classroom management, it may also inhibit learning opportunities for students who do not understand what learning is yet. So, the true question for you is, are you a daring soul? Are you willing to risk stepping out of your comfort zone? Do you believe that predestined educational gaps were created in order to be crushed? Do you believe that differentiated instruction may look a little bit like an aerobics class? Have you subscribed to the idea that learning can be fun and may even look a lot like play? Then you are in the right place. Sit back and absorb the possibilities from the brief preview by Fueling Brains and Huckabee Learning Spaces about our plans to transform early childhood learning and crush achievement gaps through the Goose Creek Early Learning Academies.